Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct this 3D model of 4 wave pipe fitting with the help of Autodesk Inventor Surfacing. So let's get started. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. Select the 2D sketch. Okay, first we are going to generate a new plane. So go to plane, select offset from plane. Now here, Select the right plane, the YZ plane, and here take a offset distance of 75 mm. OK. And press OK. Now select this new plane, go to create sketch. Go to circle command and make a circle from the center point of diameter 60 mm. Now finish sketch. Take extrude command. And here we will take extrude of surface. So this will be open. And here give a distance of 50 mm. Okay. Now we have uh, constructed this part. Now go to the plane command. Select offset from plane. Now we will construct the bisecting plane. So select the exit plane. Go to right view. Now take a offset distance of 15 mm and press OK. OK. Now similarly, we will make one more plane. Go to plane again. Take offset from plane. Select the exit plane once again. This time we are uh, making offset in minus direction, minus 15 mm and press OK. Rotate the profile. Now you can see the this circular profile is been cutting by this plane profiles. So go to split, select this a split tool and select this face. Apply. Now you can see a split line here. Okay. Similarly, select this bottom plane, select this face, and okay. Now select this plane, right click, turn off the visibility. Select this, right click, turn off the visibility. Select this plane one also, turn off the visibility. Now you can see it has been divided in three parts. First part, second part, rotate the profile and the third part. Okay. Now go to home. Now from here go to circular pattern. Select extrude surface 1, select split 1, split 2, ok, go to rotation axis and here select the y axis, here we will take a count of 4 and press ok, ok, now we are going to make a joining profile here, now for joining profile, from here select plane 2, go to create sketch and here Go to arc command. We will take a three point arc. Rotate the view. Okay. Now select this end, this green point, and select this point. Okay. Similarly, here also select this and this point inside, and here this point and this point and this and this. Okay. Okay. Now you can see we have selected these points, the splitted points. Okay. Escape. Now go to dimension. Define the dimension as 75 radius. Okay. Go to top view. Now we have defined only one. So go to equal constraint. Select this radius and this radius. Now select this, and this, this. And this so all of them are of radius 75 mm now finish sketch now we want to join these profiles these two profiles okay so from here we'll go to 3d sketch and go to include geometry <coughs> select include geometry select this profile and select this profile similarly We'll do it for rest. Select this. 
the middle profile okay of all select this this rotate and select this this and okay all are selected now now escape now finish sketch now from here go to the loft command select this feature uh, this sketch and go to click to add and select this sketch okay okay now go to rail and select this guide rail okay similarly we will do with rest so select sketch 2 and activate its visibility okay rotate the view now go to loft once again select this and go to add sketch select this go to rail selection and select this okay rotate go to loft select this add sketch select this sketch go to rail selection and select this okay rotate go to loft once again select this sketch add select this sketch and for rail select this these are the guiding rails okay so all of them are selected now now we want a close profile from top also for close profile now first hide this sketch to select this sketch to and turn off the visibility okay to make it no more clear now from here select to 3d sketch once again and here go to include geometry and select this top profile and select this edge this top and this guiding rail top and guiding rail this top okay and the guiding rail okay now finish sketch now you can see a, a top profile is in 3d now from here go to boundary patch and select this top profile okay if you have multiple profiles so it will select now you can see the top profile the curve profile has been selected okay to close this profile now press apply and exit now this is close from top we want same profile at bottom also so go to mirror select this feature go to mirror plane and here select the yz plane rotate now here also same profile will be created and press ok now go to home now here we will thicken this profile first we will stitch all the surface profiles so from here we will take stitch profile select complete profile and apply ok and done now from here go to thicken select this complete profile give a thickness of 2 mm and press ok now you can see this profile is created now uh, it is also merging with the surface profile so from here select this right click and turn off the visibility and here we can see this profile also so select 3d sketch one right click turn off the visibility now you can see the profile from here you can define the color i have taken here the machine and aluminium okay so this will be the appearance so see, this was a basic tutorial to how to use surfacing commands in Oculus Inventor to construct a 3D part. I hope you like the video. If you do that, please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.